Oh, hi there. My name's Larry. I'm here from Fellows Court in Hackney. Like other places in London, have you noticed that Hackney has a lot of graffiti and street art? But what does a local community think about it though? Don't, don't really know. We're going to find out now. One of the pieces of street art that really has got the community talking is the rabbit on the side of Hackney Road. The council wanted to paint over it for the people. Yeah, we knew it was a popular piece of art, but we didn't realise quite how popular it is. There was an article in the Guardian, and after that I got into work for my inbox. It's full of people saying, how can I help? Lawyers writing, uh, every local residents, just hundreds of people saying, how can I help? And then a petition was set up, 3,000 people signed out. There's a big Twitter campaign. It's been absolutely amazing. It's brilliant. I've seen the rabbit. I think the rabbit is OK. Like, they could have toned it down a bit because it might set a bad example for young ones. The meeting is the first meeting of the Wild Hackney campaign and the Wild Hackney campaign is building on the success of the Save the Hackney Rabbit campaign which is to keep the rabbit that was painted by Roa on the side of the premises studios. Um, the premises studios were lucky in saving their rabbit and, but they feel that um, the same thing could happen to someone else. Um, so we were mounting campaign to continue with the public support that was generated by the Hack Rabbit and to uh, come to an arrangement uh, that is built around the community and what they see as being important for street art and take that to the council. I'm Councillor Ian Rathbone and I am also the Secretary of the Friends of Hackney Peace Murals. Graffiti is any informal or illegal marks, drawings or paintings that have been deliberately made. <laughs> 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 There has been debates about street art. Is it vandalism or inspiration? It depends because on the one hand, street hand is an inspirational thing. And you can get your name across. Tagging is, yeah, t they're similar, but they're not the same. One of them is vandalism and you could get arrested for it and prosecuted. It depends on where it's portrayed. Like, if it's on an abandoned building or like in the area, then yeah, it's good. But if it's like on a, like an important building or like cars that's being used, then no. I, I don't like tagging and I understand what tagging is about. And I think it's also, that's about antisocial behavior, social problems and so on. It's people basically saying, recognize us and we're not being recognized. But I know for some people it actually is a kind of an art form that they're doing, it's an expression of themselves. But unfortunately, we do have to draw a line, I think, you know, that they're going tagging all over the place when, you know, with a little bit of agreement, uh, they can still tag, but they just tag in places which don't offend everybody in the community. Um, and uh, uh, so the difference between the two, I suppose, is how offensive something might be to the community, not to council officers or anybody else, but the community who live there, because it's their environment and they should be allowed to decide what they want to see in their environment. Well, my views are that we have an incredible um, array of street art in Hackney, which we really should be very proud of, and it's a real asset, and um, I don't think there's anywhere quite like Hackney for that, um, and we're really, really lucky to have that, so it's about looking after it and recognising that. Um, so I personally, uh, I love street art and I think it's a real expression of people's love for their local environment. They, they feel they want to paint it and they want to paint beautiful images on it. I, I just think there's no better way of expressing your love for the urban environment, so I'm all for it. I think it's a type of art because art is basically you portraying what you feel and graffiti is portraying what you feel. But instead of drawing, instead of drawing, you're spray painting. It's mad to me that, like I said before, the Olympic logo is graffiti. The whole thing about all these people coming to London, then, you know, the reason they will come to East London is because there's a couple street art, and you know, that's really starting to happen. So there's no reason why that can't be something a little bit more formalised, which means that the council starts to support. We should leave some of the street art because some of it looks good. Men London's Wild Hackney campaign is trying to change council policy on street art. 
I mean, it's, it's not just this policy, it's also the kind of code of practice says you need to speak to people and it needs to be a discussion, it can't just be a letter. So there is there is that whole process side of things. And I think when they say we're reviewing the policy, that's what they're talking about. They're, not gonna, they're never going to say, yeah, we like graffiti, that's never going to happen. Then it's going to change a bit of it, but if we can make it less threatening in that way, I think that's good. And then the, the third thing is really this whole aspect of other projects that we can do. So, you know, having a guide so that we can almost go around to people who have graffiti on the wall and say, do you like what you've got? And if you, if you get a letter like this in the post, this is what you should do. So you start to mobilise in that way as well. Well, I think it went really well, actually. Uh, I'm really pleased that we got some people along um, to show their support, um, but also to talk um, about their experiences of um, how they've seen street art be treated in their local area. Um, but also just to talk about what they'd like to see from the policy, which was the point of the meeting, really. It was to really get people's feedback on what they'd like to see happen, how they'd like it to happen, and how they'd like us to be involved, because this isn't our project, this isn't about us telling you know, the council what to do or what the people to do, but we're there to facilitate, we're there to enable, and it's, it's, it's really important that we have that mandate tonight, and I think that's what we got, so we're really happy.